Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. So we got a winter weather advisory for all of eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. You've heard us say winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings. Well, the warning is the worst, and then, of course, a higher than a warning can be a blizzard warning. But uh, winter weather advisory is basically a heads up from the National Weather Service that we're going to be dealing with gusty winds, a mix of rain and snow, and uh, difficult driving conditions all across the region. Uh, winter storm warnings usually mean high amounts of snow. So we're not expected to get a lot of snow with this storm, but just enough snow, about one to four inches for the valleys, that we're going to be looking at difficult driving conditions, especially I-15, I-86, and I-84. And this is going to start to take effect here around midnight tonight. In fact, the advisory is actually not active until 11 o'clock tonight, until 11, and from 11 o'clock tonight all the way through 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So all day tomorrow, we're looking to really pick up the snow. Things are pretty quiet on first alert Viper Radar now, but we do have more moisture waiting in the wings. And this is going to get us uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning as we head out and about on our roadways. And we are going to be looking for some of this wet weather to come in from the west. Also, cold air. Now, we're going to get a good push of snow here into the mountains, a bit of snow for tomorrow. And then as we get into Thursday, Christmas Eve's looking better. So if you want to travel Christmas Eve, that's actually looking to be better. Christmas Day, chance of snow. But by Christmas Day, we're pretty much on the end of the storm pattern, and it's going to get really cold as we get into Christmas holiday weekend with temperatures dropping into the teens and 20s for your highs this Saturday and Sunday. So tonight in the Vipercast, let's freeze the clock tomorrow at 8 a.m. This is when the snow really starts to pick up. So early tomorrow morning, and then as we get into late morning hours, we're going to start to see that snow coming across the southern and southeastern highlands. The snow is starting to start to fly around 3 a.m. tonight, uh, but as we get into around 6, 7, 8 tomorrow, that's when the snow starts to pick up some steam. As we get into tomorrow afternoon, looking at some pretty heavy snow showers into the mountains, also getting into Utah, but scattered snow showers, lots of wind here all across the region. We get into Thursday. There's a chance for snow on Thursday morning at around 7 o'clock. But it's not going to be any heavy snow at this point. In fact, we're looking for passing snow flurries and showers as we get into Thursday evening and then drier conditions getting closer to Christmas. A high of 29 for Idaho Falls tomorrow with low of 23 tonight, 32 in Pocatello, 28 in around Rigby. Hitting 26 tonight for Salmon, uh, 26, excuse me, for the high tomorrow in Salmon and Chow's. Lows tonight back to around 14 to 10. And 10 tonight in Jackson with a high of 21 tomorrow, 15 in Driggs, 5 in Island Park. Highest tomorrow into the teens and 20s. We'll see the lower 30s for Malad City and Preston with the upper 20s in Lava Hot Springs. Here's your eight day outlook. Keeping the wind with us all the way through Christmas Day. And then watch what happens here 29, 25, 20, and then 13. Yeah, cold, cold air coming on the backside of the snow pattern. And then we start to work in a bit of some snow into next week. But if Santa is bringing a sled for the kids to play with, they're going to definitely need to really bundle up here for the weekend. Pocatello, 28 for Thursday, 21 on Friday, 18 for the high Saturday afternoon in Pocatello. Rexburg, a high of 25 for Thursday, 19 and 13 for your Friday and Saturday for Christmas and the day after Christmas. Really cold conditions. Blackfoot, temperatures here push around 26 for Thursday. And, uh, you know, it may be a little cloudy for Thursday. We may get a few flakes when Santa's flying around, but no worry, kids. The, the Rudolph should be able to guide Santa right through the snow if we do have any lingering snow showers into late or Thursday night and early Friday morning. Friday morning, chance of snow. And then Salmon, you're hitting highs here around 19 for Friday afternoon, 17 on Saturday, 21 on Sunday. Jackson, you're bringing in snow where we'd like to see it. And even Jackson's bringing in the sun this weekend. However, 14 for the high on Saturday, 18 on Sunday.